Hey guys, welcome back to XDA. Today is Tuesday and we're not doing Exposed Tuesday, at least not today. So as far as the Exposed Tuesday series, it may be rebooted depending on, on the status of the actual Exposed modules and as far as Exposed being running on Lollipop. So be tuned on that. And once we do have that, we'll probably basically be interchanging this series, which is the new application series uh, that are must have apps for you guys on Tuesdays with Expose as things come up. So it's gonna be a little bit of a change to like kind of figure out what's going on. Uh, but overall, Thursday's episodes will still always be XDA featured, XDA covered uh, type of application. So if it's featured on XDA and we have a thread and we'll be able to discuss it through XDA, I'll definitely give you guys uh, an application review for those things on Thursday. But Tuesday is gonna be a little bit different and I'm looking for some inputs from you guys and let me know what you guys think. But for today, we're gonna to talk about Pushbullet, an application I think almost every Android user should have because of the way it just simplifies the functionality of notifications. Let's check it out. The application is called Pushbullet. We actually activate the application right there. You can see I've been using it and actually trying to sync applications or even notifications between one device and another. The main benefit of it is the ability to interact with your device with your PC. Now, this actually works across multiple devices, so you don't have to have it on one device alone. I have it sitting right now on my Nexus 6. I also have it sitting on my Note 4 right there. Uh, what you have for the ability is the ability of actually syncing links, um, items. You're also able to actually configure or control the stream that you have here by seeing exactly which devices that you're connected to. You have my Chrome over there, my Nexus 6, and my Note 4 listed as far as devices. I also have the ability of listing it by channel, contacts, myself, or everything. Everything just gives me a stream of every single notification that comes around and this works great if you have multiple devices and you want to be able to get the notifications from multiple different units. So it works great in that sense, uh, but you're also able to just kind of configure it just to keep it on the Nexus 6. So this is what I did for the Nexus 6. If I want to go to my Note 4, I can see that these are the other two notifications. And of course, anything that is from my Chrome that was pushed directly to my devices and I don't really use it too much. What we do get here is the ability to actually go in and just say everything and we'll see all the other notifications. You can sync full size images between your device and your other one. So you can, let's say if you download this really cool wallpaper and you wanna be able to access it from your device, well, here it is, it's actually synced. I synced this not to my device, I synced it to my Note 4 and I'm accessing it on my Note, on my Nexus 6. That's the beauty of this application. It works great, it, it has a desktop version of it itself so you can install it on your PC or your Mac or you can actually use it as a Chrome extension and we're gonna go ahead and actually you know, switch over to that right now. So as a quick hands-on real quick, what it looks like on a device, this is the Chrome browser. Again, you can download and install the actual application for your desktop, but within the Chrome browser, as long as you're logged into your account, you're able to basically go into the actual icon, it gives you the ability to pushing a notification and you can select which device you wanna send it to. You can send it to this Chrome, obviously it won't send it to itself. Uh, this, my Note 4 as well as my Nexus 6 and I'm able to basically send it or I can just say to all my devices and every device connected to the same account under Pushbullet will get this notification. You can of course send text messages and that's something that you can forward over sending it from. This is where the device I can select and switch over since both of them are capable. And you'll notice here I just got a notification on the bottom to my notifications here. I'll just say dismiss, dismiss and you can keep working. You don't have to really even switch over from one device to the other and the notification on the device on the Note 4 did actually get dismissed. They don't have to worry about it. Last but not least, of course, if there's any pending notifications, they would show up in here and the settings, you can actually snooze it an option and exit out. It works really good. Great for when you're on the go and let's say you're in Maps, you know, you go into Google Maps and then you're basically sitting there and then you're looking at this really, really great favorite restaurant that you're looking for. You can zoom out. This is the Greater LA. Uh, we'll give it a second to load. And I can actually just right click. I can go to Push Bullet and say Push. This is the link and it'll say just push it directly to my Nexus 6. Make some noise on our device. Double click. Sure enough, it gives me the option to open it up map. I'll just say use once. Give it a second. Again, pushes out, gives me the exact information and it tells me exactly where it is. Same city around LA, Los Angeles, which is what this map is on this. If you had notifications or messages that you wanted to send over, this is great. This is very similar if you've ever used Chrome to phone or uh, you know uh, Firefox to phone, which is a, a link that used to basically push notifications or just links from your desktop to your laptop. Uh, it worked great. And of course, what you can do, which you cannot do with any other system, is you go in here and then you say push file. 
and then you click it to so pop it out and we're just going to use this as an example it's going to sync up the picture and i'm going to send it over to my note push it it says pushed successfully i open up my phone sure enough it's downloading the picture and it gives me the ability of looking at the picture itself on my device. From what you guys saw with the little bit of the hands-on that we did is it has a really nice extension. It works very nice. It's seamless on the desktop. It works great with your actual devices, multiple devices. You're able to push to all message all notifications. So there's a feature where you have a notification that shows up on one device. It will show up on all three of your devices. So be it the notes, uh, the note four directly into the Nexus six and the desktop, and you're able to dismiss it from any one of them. It works great for when you're receiving calls, you're actually able to see directly on your screen without having to actually talk, you know, take out the phone and look at it. So depends on how your life is i think this is one of the more required kind of type applications that you need to have on your device or at least use uh, it simplifies and gets things running and again from a system just to be able to even just share files between one file one device and another it's really good uh, because it just pushes the device directly or the actual message directly from one system to the other if you're sending a picture it's not cropping it and sending it over it's sending the actual file that you want to send it works great i can send it from my desktop to my devices or my devices back to my desktop it works good so let me know what you guys think about this application. Have you used it? Have you tried it in the past? Maybe not using it anymore. Maybe you want to check it out again. I'll give you guys a link to their main website. Definitely check it out. And again, let me know what you guys think with maybe the new direction with the system. Uh, these are going to be must have apps. These are apps that are kind of unique enough that give you access to something that you normally wouldn't think you need. But once you have, you're thinking, why isn't this built in? Anyways, as usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys soon.